Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bub. Hey, Bub. Yoo-hoo, Bub. Say hi to the Americans, Bub. Uh, here on Friday, September 27th, TGIF. Well, uh, since those dum-dums, <coughs> sorry, Democrats are hell-bent on impeachment. I'm going to do impeachment's aftermath and the three P's commentary today. Yes, remember Alice Trebek and the three P's. Well, I'll tell you what the three P's are. So, here we go. Hello, Americans! This is your favorite alien. I wish I was sitting in for Paul Harvey today because... He would have probably done the commentary like this, so hey, let's make it sitting in for Paul Harvey. Me and Bubba here. Okay, it looks like the dum dums, <coughs> sorry, Democrats, are hell bent on impeachment. So, what happens in impeachment? Well, put it this way since the Constitution was adopted in 1789, for the first 185 years, you had one impeachment proceeding. One. And that one was a politically motivated by the radical Republicans in 1868 under Andrew Johnson. You all know what happened there. In the last 45 years, you've had three now. Three impeachment proceedings. Three. And 45 versus one in 185. Does that tell you that your two-party system doesn't work worth a damn? I hope it does. And of the three impeachments, one worked, two did not. I already told you why that one worked and why the other two won't, including this one. But okay, be that as it may, let's go through this impeachment here. Say... Pelosi comes up with articles of impeachment and 218 House votes. Which what she'll think is she'll browbeat those dum-dums to get 218. The Republicans will say, we're going to be staunch and we're going to go against them. So they'll be against them. Well, there'll be a few that'll probably cross over. There always is. But okay. So you got 218 to 220, right? for impeachment. Then the Senate has to sit as the jury. And the judge, of course, is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Mr. Roberts. Now, I know Mr. Roberts, like he did in the impeachment of uh, Clinton over there, is not going to take no ham guff. He didn't take it from the Republicans back then, and he sure is not going to take it from the Democrats here. So here we are. You're impeaching President Trump, okay? And you get to the vote. You need 67 votes to impeach. 67 Americans. Because that's two-thirds of 100. Actually, it's 66 plus 1. So 67. Uh... Okay, so say Mr. Schumer browbeats those dum-dums and say you got 47 dum-dums. And you got the two anti-Trumps over there, Miss Makowski of Alaska and Collins of Maine. So add those onto that. So you got 49. So you need 18 more Republicans. Oh, that's a tall order, ain't it? 18. And, by the way, Democrats, in the Senate, and also in the House, have you ever figured out what your vote means? I know when you're sitting there voting, especially you Senator Democrats, you're going to be like what happened to Andrew Johnson, to the Republicans. You're going to be saying, what the hell are we doing? Is President Trump guilty? Well, maybe. But we haven't put any high crimes and misdemeanors here because you won't. You can't. You don't have them. You don't know how to get them. 
You're going to put all kinds of things there. You've got a whistleblower and all that stuff, but that's a different story. That's something you've got to talk about to the American people, about the whistleblowers. They're, they're just like women who go to report rapes. They're in the same category. How do the police treat them? Terrible. How do you treat whistleblowers? Terrible. But you're treating them good because it's a political situation. But this whistleblower, for all intents and purposes, after the political boo-ha-ha is done, he is sucked. Big time. Lifetime. Sucked. That's the price of a whistleblower. That's why Deep Throat never came out. They didn't use Deep Throat to get Mr. Nixon. You used him in the Washington Post. Oh, yeah. But you don't need a whistleblower here. But that's a different story. So when you're voting here, this is what's going to come out, Democrats and Republicans. When you vote, you're not going to say, I'm going to vote for party line. You're going to be sitting there and saying, really? I mean, this is a vote that you have to do from your conscience and heart. And I guarantee you that those Democrats, staunch as they are, 47, there's going to be a few that are going to say, no. Because the Constitution will tell them, no. This is what Americans, you don't understand. The three P's are people, press, and politics. And what's governing this uh, so-called impeachment? I call it henchmen. It's the press and the politics. And the people? Hell, you guys don't care. 50% of you don't want anything to do with politics. But you should, in this one instance. Tell your Democratic senators, vote your conscience. This is the country you're talking about here. Because you know what the aftermath on this impeachment saying yay is. And that's not going to be good. You should have just waited another 11 months and vote Mr. Trump out. That's why you got the voting system. And that's what the uh, founding fathers put it there for. Use it. But anyway, this is your favorite alien in Bubba. Sitting in for Paul Harvey today. Good day.